Well, now we all know the Buffalo Bills don't mind playing in a little snow. But the November storm made it impossible last year. Here's what Ralph Wilson Stadium looked like just a few days before the Bills were set to take on the Jets. News 4's George Rickard shows us how the Bills had to pack up and play a home game in a different city. The view from high above Ralph Wilson Stadium told the story. Just five days before the team was to host the Jets, even the players had a big job digging out. We are in a snow tundra of Buffalo, New York. Mario Williams, David Kerr, two of my buddies digging aside in a snowstorm here in Buffalo, New York. By midweek, the league made it clear that only the NFL had the power to reschedule a game. The NFL is a business. It's as simple as that, folks. The NFL is a business. And if the NFL is trying to push the Bills, and I don't think the Bills are trying to push, I think if the NFL is trying to push the Bills to hold a football game while we're in the middle of an emergency, shame on the NFL. Simple as that. We are in a major emergency. We've had eight deaths. Usually after a big storm, the Bills can pay fans to shovel out the seats. But this time, travel bans were lasting for days, and people were so busy shoveling themselves out that the effort here took a back seat. By Thursday, crews seemed to be getting the parking lots cleared. But by the end of that day, 16 more inches of snow fell on Orchard Park. Hours later, the decision was made. The Bills-Jets Monday night game would be moved to Detroit. I don't really like it. It takes away our home field advantage to us. Fans made the best of it. Some drove all the way to Detroit. Others tailgated at the transit drive-in and watched the game on the big screen. I got uh, my cousin in town. He's from Cal California. <laughs> and uh, we, I wanted to give him a Bills experience, and this is the closest we're going to get. The Bills ended up beating the Jets, and in a timely salute to what Western New York endured, Scott Chandler invented what would be known as the shovel dance. When it was all said and done, Ralph Wilson Stadium would have been cleared just in the nick of time to host that game, thanks in part to temperatures in the 60s. It's unbelievable that I got a great partner up in the sky with God with the warm weather. He melted half of it. And the rest was absorbed by a so-called snow dragon brought in from Pittsburgh. This particular unit has a 9 million BTU burner on it, heating up the water at about 120 degrees. As the hot water is splashing inside it, we're dumping snow in and it's instantly melting. You know, you really can't say enough for, for the job everyone did. And, and, you know, sometimes in life when you're faced with, hey, you just got to get this done, you, you know, people will find a way to get it done. There's one thing great about Buffalo. You can slow us down, but you'll never stop us. George Rickard, News 4.